The third function of an operating system is multitasking. Once a program has been loaded from secondary storage into the RAM, it's ready to run and it's known as a process or a task. A single application like a spreadsheet, for example, usually consists of several different programs and will therefore give rise to several tasks on its own. Here we have a single core processor which can execute only one program instruction at a time. But the operating system can make it appear as though lots of tasks are running simultaneously by controlling their access to the CPU. This is called multiprocessing or multitasking. Each task is given a short amount of time with the CPU, about one hundredth of a second, before it's paused and another task takes a turn. A hundredth of a second might not sound like very much, but it's enough to execute millions of program instructions. A paused task is moved to the back of the scheduling queue, but it will soon get another turn, then another and another. The switching happens so quickly that as far as the user can tell, several applications are running simultaneously. This type of multitasking is known as round-robin scheduling or time slicing. Some tasks are more important than others, so they get more time with the CPU. Programs that are part of the operating system, for example, have a higher priority. If an application is idle, then of course it doesn't require the CPU's attention at all. However, there is almost always something running if the computer is on. Urgent tasks can also interrupt normal scheduling and demand immediate access to the CPU. For example, if there's been a power failure and files need to be saved immediately. A CPU with multiple cores can really run programs simultaneously, rather than the operating system having to fake it. But those programs must have been designed to work on a multi-core processor. Summarising, even with a single core CPU, several applications can appear to run simultaneously. The operating system performs round-robin scheduling in which each task is allocated time slots with the CPU. Some tasks have higher priorities than others, so get bigger time slices. And an urgent process can interrupt normal scheduling. Multi-core processors allow for true parallelism, if the programs involved have been written to take advantage of this.